Now this is dealing with a system bonding jumper, this illustration. But however, to use this concept, the circuit has to be a class one, two, or three. Now we said uh, that we could check this out uh, in the code looking at 725.41a, uh, I believe it was, and 725.121. And we could look at the class one, two, or three circuit defined in Article 100. Now, what they're allowing here, the, we have to look at, really review another section and put two sections together. 250.30A1 exception three goes together with 250.30A6 exception two. And when we put them, those two sections together, this really comes into play very clearly. But using this section, then notice we have a number 14 equipment grounding uh, conductor and it provides grounding means for the transformer. As long as it's a class one, two or three circuit and as long as a thousand volt amps or less. Now we see that uh, with the number 14 equipment ground arrow pointing to it and then the circuit to the right shows a 1,000 volt amps or less, and uh, yes, it's class 1, 725.41a, and class 2 or 3, 725.121, as I just quoted. And then the next call out, not smaller than the derived ungrounded phase conductors, and not smaller than number 14 AWG copper, or number 12 aluminum or copper clad in accordance with 250.30A1, exception three. Now you notice this exception three plays a big role and to get 230 or 250.30A6 exception two, we give you that figure loop up there. See figure 16-48. But notice what this really allows. You can use that number 14 as a system binding jumper, as an equipment grounding conductor, and then uh, also as a grounding electrode conductor. But to use it as a grounding electrode conductor, you gotta go to 250.30A6 exception two, figure 16-48. Now, notice though, to, to be able to do this, and if you think about it, if you reference table 250.66, the smallest grounding electrode is conductors number eight. You couldn't even get it in there and terminate it. It wouldn't even go inside the box in most all cases, but the number 14 will. So that's another case, see, where I can use a system bonding jumper as an equipment grounding conductor and grounding electrode conductor, three, three functions. Just like on the supply side, I can use the grounded conductor between the transformer and the service equipment as a bonding jumper. I can use it as a grounded conductor, a path uh, for the fault current to travel over, and use it as a neutral too, three conductors. So there are certain times a conductor may serve more than just one purpose, but you have to know the sections that give you permission to do this. And so in this case, where a thousand volt amps or less with a transformer, where a class one, two, or three circuit is defined in Article 100 and illustrated and outlined in 725.41a and 725.121. Now, uh, with these conditions of use, then I can use that system binding jumper as three conductors, but I do have to review 250.30A1 exception three and 250.30A6 exception two. And this illustration 16-37 is simply uh, showing a system bonding jumper being used with the equipment grounding conductor. So simply speaking, the equipment ground is serving as an equipment ground and system bonding jumper in this illustration.